Okay, so today we're going to explore two different properties in Akron, Ohio. Uh, the first of which is the Goodrich Middle School in East Akron. This massive middle school was built in 1930. Um, it was decommissioned and closed in 2010 and had anywhere from 400 to almost 1,000 students. Um, there were talks in 2019 to open the school up as a sober living community. Um, not sure what's going on with that. Um, in 1930, the school was named after Benjamin Franklin Goodrich of the BF Goodrich Company, and he was a, an American rubber industrialist. Um, the massive school has three floors, not including a basement. And over the years, it's been subject to metal scrappers, vandalism. Uh, the current worth of the property is 5.2 million, um, but it's gonna need a, a lot of work. It's been sitting for almost nine years. Um, the classic architecture of this building is striking. It's almost kind of like a prison. And uh, I really wanted to go inside, but uh, it's smack dab in the middle of a neighborhood and uh, there's houses and people outside everywhere and there were, really wasn't a good entry point for me and I didn't really feel like breaking in or anything like that, anything illegal. So, um, pretty uh, mysterious, kind of spooky, but all the power's still on as you can see and uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful old school and I hope that the state can find something to do with it. Next we've got uh, the Atlantic Foundry Company. I don't want to give the exact address away, but uh, this is now owned by the Summit County Land Bank, um, and it's uh, right in East Akron. Um, the Atlantic Foundry Company was an iron casting manufacturer, opened in 1905. It's founded by Charles Raymond Sr. and four fellow foundry men uh, after they crossed the Atlantic to uh, open business in America. In 1910, they added a modern iron foundry next door and next door to that in 1919 they also added a huge steel foundry and uh, in, in combination these foundries uh, provided castings for the rubber, steel, automotive and mining industries. This massive massive conglomeration of buildings uh, at its peak employed over 450 people and uh, it closed in 1989 on January 13th. And the Raymond family says that the company was not profitable uh, during its final six years. Massive building. I completely underestimated how huge it was going to be. Um, because from the road, you know, I've lived in this area for most of my life. I've always seen this building, but... It is so much bigger inside than I had realized. And the condition is just... I mean, it, it definitely can be condemned. It could definitely tear it down. I don't think there's any saving this this structure or group of structures at all. <clears throat> but uh, it, is, it is amazing. I mean, there's a lot of old machinery. Like that huge press that was in the beginning of the video. I mean, that was really a surprise. Um, a lot of old cranes, a lot of bulk steel. Um, but like I said, I don't think there's any repurposing this structure. Um, I really think, you know, the city of Akron could do itself a favor and the environment if they were to just tear down and um, start new. Um, I don't really recommend exploring here. It's extremely dangerous. Uh, I didn't climb on top of anything. I stayed on the ground floor. I stayed away from all the machinery. Um, main reason being, uh, a couple of years ago, there was a death involved here. Uh, a group of college students um, found their way onto the roof, and a young woman fell through and fell to her death about 50, 60 feet. Um, extremely sad. And uh, my heart goes out to her and her family, for sure. Um, very sad, very scary, disturbing. Uh, I didn't know about this until after I was researching the building and the property. 
but uh, I hope the city of Akron decides to tear this down and uh, put something in its place. But uh, pretty cool explorer, a bit of sad history here, but also a very interesting piece of uh, Akron history as well. Massive, huge building. It's just crazy because I live right around here. It does not look that big from outside. I got mud all over my shoes. Huge, crazy huge. Oh, this door is open. There's somebody in there with a power tool. They definitely aren't official because that would pry it open, so probably not about to go in there because that guy could be scrapping stuff. This is where I got in. But yeah, considering that door is pried open and I can hear somebody in there with the power drill, it's probably not a good idea to go in there and confront that person because you just never know. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and both explorers and I hope you learned something about uh, the Midwest and how these buildings came to be how they are. So, thanks.